open source AI is here to stay and DeepSeek changed the game. The release of DeepSeek AI from a Chinese company should be a wake up call for our industries that we need to be laser focused on competing to win because we have the greatest scientists in the world. For years, we were told that building advanced AI required billions of dollars, massive compute power, and the backing of tech giants. But DeepSeek just proved that narrative wrong. They did not just build a powerful AI model, they kicked off an open source revolution that is already reshaping the AI landscape. Today, I am going to break down exactly why DeepSeek's open source model is a game changer, how it is forcing companies like OpenAI to rethink their strategy, and what this means for the future of AI development. For the past few years, AI development has been locked behind closed doors. Companies like OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic have pushed the idea that only large-scale proprietary models could compete at the highest level. They have built AI behind paywalls, restricting access and keeping their methods hidden. But DeepSeek just shattered that belief. They built a high-performing AI model, released it open source, and showed the world that cutting-edge AI does not have to be locked away by corporations. This is not just about China versus the US. It is about open source versus closed source and who will define the future of AI. Once a breakthrough like this happens, it is is impossible to stop. Just one week after DeepSeek's release, Berkeley researchers built a thinking and reasoning AI model for only $450. Meanwhile, Nvidia launched a palm-sized AI supercomputer for just $249, putting high-powered AI capabilities into the hands of anyone who wants them. The cost of building AI is plummeting, and that is only going to accelerate. We have seen this happen before. Look at Linux versus Windows, Android versus iOS, or Wikipedia versus Encyclopedia Britannica. Every time open systems fueled faster innovation, lower costs, and broader accessibility. And now AI is following the same pattern. When knowledge is open, progress moves exponentially faster. This shift is forcing companies like OpenAI to rethink their entire business model. Just recently, Sam Altman admitted on Reddit that OpenAI may have been on the wrong side of history when it comes to open source but despite that admission, OpenAI is still doubling down on closed models and looking for billions in funding rather than releasing OpenAI tools. Meanwhile, Meta is taking a different approach. They have already open sourced their Llama models, and Mark Zuckerberg has openly recognized the geopolitical stakes in AI development. He believes that if one open source model is going to dominate, it should be an American model, not one controlled by China. The bottom line is that DeepSeek's impact is already being felt. Come Companies are scrambling to adjust their strategies, and the debate over open AI versus closed AI is heating up. But let's be clear, open AI is not without its risks. There are major concerns about data privacy, security, and misuse. When AI models become open source, anyone can modify and repurpose them, including for harmful applications. There's also the question of national security. Some fear that open source AI will give adversarial nations the ability to develop advanced AI faster than expected. And as AI continues evolving toward artificial general intelligence, AGI, should something that powerful really be open to the public? Even OpenAI's chief scientist, Ilya Sutskever, has raised this issue. He once argued that early AI models should be open, but that at a certain level of intelligence, AI must remain closed to prevent dangerous capabilities from falling into the wrong hands. Despite these challenges, the open source AI revolution is already underway. Small teams, universities, and independent researchers now have access to cutting edge AI capabilities. The barriers to entry are collapsing, and AI development is shifting from a battle over compute power to a battle of ideas. This is our Sputnik moment, but instead of a space race between countries, we are seeing a race between open and closed approaches to AI, the future of AI will not just be shaped by the biggest companies, it will be shaped by who can innovate the fastest, who can collaborate the most effectively, and who can push the boundaries of what is possible. So the real question is, what kind of future do we want? Do we want AI to be controlled by a handful of corporations, or do we want it to be accessible to the world? Are you excited about the democratization of AI, or do you think the risks outweigh the benefits? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.